Hey skaters, I'm Dirty Deborah Harry with the Dirty School of Skate. Sugar Roller Skates. I'm here at the Fountain Valley Skating Center today to talk to you about how to dance skate. More specifically, a little group dance skate with three different little moves that we're gonna put together. You can do this solo or with your friends, okay? Stick around to the end of this video. I'll show you the whole thing and I promise you it'll be worth it. Either put on your skates or sit down, get comfy. Let's watch how to dance skate in a group. Three little moves. I promise you it's gonna be a good time. I have friends here again with me that are gonna help me. They don't know what we're gonna be doing today. They have no idea, so this is gonna be fun because as I'm teaching you how to do this, I'm gonna be teaching my friends how to do this at the same time. That is Den Shay and Amber. Okay, as I already told, I told the, uh, the audience here that you guys don't know what we're doing today right so as I teach them I'll be teaching you guys okay so this is gonna be a little bit more organic so I would say be ready for mistakes am I right okay Fair yeah. enough. <laughs> first thing we're gonna do is what I just call slides slides are based off of T starts and T stops. That's the easiest way I can explain it. For those of you who may have challenges with T starts or T stops, don't you worry. You know I got a video about that. I'll link it below so you guys can work on just that. But here goes. We're gonna start with a T start. We're gonna put our feet in a very casual T position. So I got one foot behind the other, just like that. I am going to drop my body weight. I'm gonna take my knee and push it over my big toe so I can push off and head this direction, okay? So let's just try that. I'm gonna face my um, upper body in the direction I wanna go because that seems to help a little bit. I'm digging in on this edge right here and I'm gonna push off. That's your T start. Here's my T stop when I drag my foot and stop. Okay, do we have that down, ladies? <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, okay. Woo! This is the first of many things to learn. Okay, let's do a T start on the way back. So again, one foot behind the other, the back foot, knee bent, knee pushed over, big toe. You're looking in this direction, you push off it. Set it down, set it down, set it down to stop. When you do a T-stop, you are either going to stop with your outside two wheels, you're going to stop with all four wheels on the ground, or you're going to stop with just the front two. One thing we cannot do, God bless them, no rollerblady stuff, okay? You can't drag your foot like that. It's actually super dangerous with quads. Okay, so we're going to, it's going to look like this. We're going to push together, push together i like how i do that and then automatically drag my skate like i just told you not <laughs> there's that okay all right let's do it again ready push down <laughs> together <laughs> push away together okay i think the hardest thing you can tell me if you guys think this is the hardest thing is that when we push we have to not only stop with this foot, but transfer the body weight so we can go like that, right? Mm -hmm. And that is difficult. We go down. If you bring your body weight up a little bit, you can stop it just like that. So we're going to push body weights down. Stop, stop, stop. Body weights up brings it together. Body weights down, 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 down. Stop, stopping, stopping, stopping. Hop it. You just gotta hop it a little bit. Does that feel okay to you guys? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Okay, so we're gonna do two, one right after the other. Let's go this way. We're gonna go five, six, seven, eight. We go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Just like that. Or we can go one, two, one, two, one, two, and one, and two. What happened there, honey? What happened? You good, nice what? balance. <laughs> she good. Okay, ready? Go five, six, seven, eight. We down together, down together, down together, down together. You gotta put some hip into it. Down together, down together, down together. Good, down together. You know what? One thing that helps me, I don't know if this helps you. I take this part of my body okay and i go down and i swing it when you swing your hips magical things happen okay so if you're 
if you're struggling with this, put your, put your behind into it. That okay. helps me too. Right? Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Let's do, actually, let's do it so they get the rear view. Okay. Ready? We're going to go this side. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. We got one and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight again. One and two, three and four, five and six and seven and eight. All righty. Now that we've got that, let's move on to the next step. The next step will be very helpful for you with your backward skating. I think a lot of times people have challenges with their backward skating because the idea of moving your body in a backward fashion, well, it just ain't normal. Am I right? There's no time. I don't know. You're going in the grocery store and you forgot something and it's behind you. You don't be backing up. <laughs> You turn your whole body around, you march back there. But in skating, so much of it is done backward. You have to be really comfortable with it. I feel like this is an easy way to practice your backward movement. So let's just do this. We're gonna stand up straight, drop our body weight. We are gonna shift our body weight onto one foot and we are gonna lift the hip of the other foot, lift it up, set it down, 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 lift it up, set it down. I think the biggest problem is thinking about where the foot goes. People want to look down and they want to do this. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. Number one, it looks crazy. It doesn't work out right. It, it doesn't help you. It doesn't feel right because it's not. You got to be chin up, shoulders straight across, snack area tight, hips down. Shift your body weight. If your body weight is over on one foot, automatically the body weight is lifted off. That means this hip can pick up this foot just enough to turn it like this and set it down. Now my body weight's here. Just enough to pick up this hip and set it down. I recognize that you feel like you are going to hit your other skate, but I promise you, if you don't look and you just lift your hips and step it on back, you're gonna be just fine, okay? So we're gonna do this for, uh, we're gonna do for eight of these, ready? We're gonna go right foot back first, ready? Five, six, seven, eight, we're gonna go one and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight, go one and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. Let's do a back view. Back view, ready? Five, six, seven, and eight. Go one and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. One and two, three and four, five and six, and seven and eight. Okay, down to the last part of this. This is my very fine one. We're gonna do 360s. Are you guys excited? Yay! 360s. This is gonna be super easy because it's gonna keep your feet on the ground the whole time. All right, we're gonna step to the right. We're literally like, step, turn, turn, stomp. Step, turn, turn, stomp. So it goes one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight, one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Best tip I have for you is this. Keep your knees constantly chasing each other. Your legs can't be spread all out, okay? When I step here, the first thing I'm thinking is this knee, boom, right there. I don't think about my feet. Stop thinking about your feet. It makes everything harder. Think about your knees. Think about closing your body up, up. Open it up, close it up. Open, close, open, close. Okay, ready? We're gonna go five, six, seven. Here we go, step, turn, step, stomp, step, turn, step, stomp, step, turn, step, and stomp, step, and turn, and step, and stomp. All right, let's put it all together. Oh, did we not do this backward? Oh, we did it. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Let's go this way, ready? Five, six, seven, eight, go step, turn, step, stomp, step, turn, step, stomp, step, turn, step, stomp, step, turn, step, stomp. All righty, skaters, we're gonna put it all together. You forgot a, a tip. So, <laughs> yeah, you had mentioned look over your shoulders, yeah. so that helps me, that helps carry me over this way. 
See? See? Yes! Thank you! Whenever you're turning, oftentimes we don't look over the shoulder of the direction that the turn is already taking. It's so much easier if you're like, hey, look how much of my body is all the way around. All right? Do it. Let's put it all together, shall we? We're gonna go this way, ready? We're gonna go five, six, seven, eight. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. At this point, you just started all over again, right? Let's do it from the other side, okay? All right, you guys are awesome. Aren't they good? <laughs> I'm so lucky. Okay, ready? We're gonna go this way. Five, six, seven, eight. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah! <laughs> I love it. Thank you, ladies, for going along with me. You're welcome. I really appreciate it. All right, skaters, that's what I've got for you today, and I hope you enjoyed it all right as i say all the time what do you guys need to do go practice, practice.